Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and it's time for the weekly ranking show. And this week, we have a lot of changes to the rankings because the rankings have gone back to normal for both the ATP and the WTA, meaning that all the points that were won in the last week have gone from last year, and we're resetting again. But let's go check out who actually won this week because we only had two tournaments, one for the men, one for the women, both of them at Cincinnati. Starting off with the WTA at the Cincinnati Masters, we had Barty defeating Teichman in straight set, 6-3, 6-1 to lift her first Cincinnati trophy in the world number one in great form. Of course, won Wimbledon only a couple of months ago. She's having a great 2021. And Alexander Zverev, he lifts his first ATP 1000 tournament on a hard court, beating Andre Rublev 6-2, 6-3. And he is also rewarded in the rankings because of his win in Cincy this week. All right, let's start with the WTA rankings for this week because we have some changes to the top 10. Ash Barty, she stays at number one in the world after a great week in Cincinnati. But Naomi Osaka, she drops down to number three with Sabalenka taking the number two spot, which is a career high ranking for Sabalenka. Osaka drops down because she failed to defend the points that she made in Cincinnati last year, making the final. Pliskova stays at number four after making the semifinals last week in Cincy. Kennan at number five. Svetlana at six. Andrescu at seven, but she has a lot of points to defend at the US Open in a week. Sviontek at eight. And a change to the bottom of the top 10 with Muguru to dropping down to number 10 and Krejcikova going up to number 9 which is a career high for her so she just keeps rising up the ranks in 2021. Let's go have a look at the race to Shenzhen the WTA finals race which is still apparently going on despite the cancellation of the Asian swing this year. Barty stays at number 1. She is miles ahead of the WTA race and she should qualify officially pretty pretty soon and then Sabalenka she drops down to number three with Krejcikova jumping up to number two after a solid week in Cincinnati last week Sabalenka failing to do well being upset early Pliskova stays at number four Sviontek at number five Osaka at number six Muguruza at seven Jabor at number eight Coco Goff at number nine and we have a new number 10 this week with Pagula who had a great week last week in Cincinnati going up three spots from last week getting into number 10 pushing Pavlichenkova out of the top 10 for the WTA race to the finals. Let's go have a look at the players that have gone up in the ranks this week that are not in the top 10. Angelique Kerber goes up five spots after making the semifinals of Cincinnati last week. She goes up to number 17 in the world. And Paula Vadosa also having a good week last week in Cincy goes up three spots to 26 in the world, which is actually a career high ranking for her. So she continues her great form in 2021. Some of the players that have dropped down in the ranks this week, we had Azarenka. She dropped down six spots to number 19 after failing to defend the title that she won in Cincinnati last year. And Joe Conta, she's gone down 11 spots to number 47 in the world after losing a bunch of points from the quarterfinals that she made last year in Cincinnati. So two players that did well last year in Cincy couldn't back it up this week and they suffered in the ranks. Let's go over to the men's rankings now, the ATP top 10, and there's some big changes in the top 10. Despite not playing Cincinnati, Djokovic, he stays at number one. Medvedev creeping up behind, though, at number two, with Cincy Pass at number three. And Rafa Nadal, after pulling out of the Canadian Open and also Cincinnati, and for the rest of the year, he's dropped down to number five with Alexander Zverev, the Cincinnati champion, taking over to get back to number four in the ranks. We have Dominic Team also not playing for the rest of the year, currently at number six, but expect him to drop out of the top 10 by the end of the year. Rublev, the finalist in Cincy, he's at number seven. Berrettini at eight. Another player not playing for the rest of the year, Roger Federer, he's at number nine, but expect him to drop out of the top 10 very soon. And Denis Shapovalov, despite having a poor couple of weeks, hangs onto the number 10 spot in the rankings this week. Having a look at the race to Turin, the ATP finals for this year, and things are starting to shape up nicely. We're gonna start seeing the players qualifying over the next couple of weeks for this tournament. Novak Djokovic, he's already qualified. He's at number one with City Pass at number two, Medvedev at number three, and Berrettini, he drops down two spots with Alexander Zverev replacing him after a really good week. He goes up to number four, Berrettini drops down to number six, and sandwiched between them is Rublev, at number five. So despite having a good week last week, Rublev, he doesn't get any reward for it in the ranks. We have Rafa Nadal. He's at number seven, but of course he is going to drop out because he is ineligible now that he is not playing for the rest of the year. So we won't see him in the ATV finals. So he can officially be pushed out, which means Rud is officially number seven. Her catch at number eight, Sinner at number nine, and Karatsev gets back into the top 10 thanks to the withdrawal of Rafa Nadal for the rest of the season. Let's have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week. And Oja Eliasim, after having a good week last week, beating Berrettini along the way, he gets to a career equaling ranking at number 15 in the world, two spots higher than last week. 
And Sinego, again, having a good week last week. He goes up four spots to number 23 in the world, which is a career high for him. He's having a great 12 months, of course, beat Djokovic end of last year and has continued that confidence and that form into this season. So good to see Sinego getting a career high ranking. Players that have dropped down in the ranks this week, we have Milos Raonic, the finalist of Cincinnati from last year. He's gone down 10 spots to number 34. And Richard Gasquet, he's gone down 29 spots in the rankings after dropping the points from two years ago in the semifinals of Cincinnati in 2019. So he dropped a lot of points, which is why he's dropped a lot of ranking spots. 29 spots, down to 82 in the world. So there it is, the rankings for the week. And there's some big changes because the ATP have gone back to normal with their rankings. And of course, the WTA have been having a normal ranking system for the last couple of months. The ATP officially losing all the points if you don't back up tournaments. So guys like Dominic Team, Roger Federer, Rafa Nadal, who all have points to defend over the next six months, not playing for the rest of the year. They're going to drop a lot of points, especially with Indian Wells being in October. Team and Federer are both the finalists from two years ago. They're going to lose a lot of points. But let me know down in the comments below, who are you most shocked about maybe not being in the top 10 or maybe not qualifying for the race of the finals yet? Because like I said before, a lot of players that are in the top 10 for both the men and the women, some of them are not actually in the top 10 for the finals race at the end of the year. So let me know down in the comments below who are you most shocked about missing from those rankings. So the US Open seeds are locked in after the rankings coming in this week with some big changes to the top 10.